Hello everyone, my name is Dirt Builder, and I would like to welcome you back into another episode of Mine Colonies. I hope you're having a great day so far. So we're standing in front of our player house, and you can see we have a car now. So this previous couple live streams, we were working on the Ultimate Car Mod finally, which I had installed way long ago, but we just never had gotten around to it. And we finally did as we've, you know, been putting in some roads around the colony here. And I'm very happy to report that after after some trial and error, we were able to get the car running. And that I'm going to explain a little bit more because the actual car building part itself was not too complicated there. I'll just kind of do a, like a very brief overview of it because I might do like an episode later on you know, a more particulars, but there is, it's, if you go, if you have JEI installed, then we were just actually working on the ultimate plane mod, which I'll kind of show what happened with that. But if you go, you know, and type a car into the JEI, you could see all the different bodies. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of items to this pack, but essentially you pick out, you pick out the type of body and then you need wheels and you need an engine, which, you know, the engine requires pistons and, you need a lot of iron. So the key thing there is you want to make sure you, maybe you have an iron farm or you have a stock up of iron because this mod does go through a lot of iron. We used a couple stacks just getting everything up and running. You also need a platform to build the car. And, you know, you can see all the fuel stuff over here, which that took that took a little while for me anyways to get the grasp of. I was trying to figure it out, but it's nifty and we did get it going. So we built a basic car with it. And what I'll do is let's go, let's go ahead and we'll jump in. So you can see just like that. And I'm going to start it up. You can see the exhaust coming out the back. So let me turn around and let's go down this way. Cause I'm going to show what happened on our last live stream. So we put in, you can probably see that this is a little bit different over here. We put in a runway over here. So very basic right now. We'll end up putting in like a taxiway slash like an apron and maybe like you know, it was suggested on one of our recent live streams to maybe put like a guard tower acting as like an air traffic control down here. So that could be pretty nifty there. But yeah, we'll probably store planes over here. I wanted to have it close to our player house and we this is some flat land. So and it's it opens up to like into a flat area because I think what we're going to be doing is like we'll take off towards the direction of the sea there because there's no obstacles in front of it and we'll land coming from the sea just because otherwise we might hit the warehouse as we like descend but i did set up a fuel station which we do need and you can see like right here we can go up to it but i think we're mostly okay on fuel and it's actually refueling because the plane uses a lot of fuel to operate there so but i put the gas pump up here and it works for both the vehicle and the plane so i figured this was like a good area for it but we had a little bit of a mishap unfortunately and you can see right here that the plane has unfortunately crashed into our house. And the, the funny story, well, yeah, and then maybe not so funny, but the story behind it is we were taxiing out to take off over here. And we didn't apply enough thrust, so I tried to abort the takeoff by kind of skirting over because it has pretty good turn radius. And at that point, the, the we could not stop in time as we kind of went around this way and we hit right into the house, which the plane mod is very expensive to uh, to operate because it, it, you can't just use iron; you have to use diamond like f diamond strength iron, which involves six diamonds and some gold around so around the iron an iron uh, ingot and. Yeah, so it's expensive. We ran, we're low on diamonds because it took a little bit to build the plane. But, you know, you can kind of see right here, the damage is currently 244%. And yeah, so a little, <laughs> little much. So unfortunately, because even when we try to fire the plane up, as you can see right there, the propeller on the front that's kind of into the house starts to spin. But unfortunately, as soon as I take my finger off the button, it stops. And presumably because... The damage is too great and we need a diamond we, we essentially need a plane wrench but that requires a lot of diamonds Oop. so unfortunately you know we're a little stun locked with that and i'm hoping once we get this fixed that we're going to be able to get this away from the house be, you know because it doesn't appear that we can break 
the plane, unfortunately, I we've tried with like an axe and it just does not it does not break there. And I tried to hit like you know a couple different areas of it and nothing. So hopefully we can get this out. Otherwise, I'll have to figure something else out, you know, for it there. But yeah, so hopefully I'm hoping in our next live stream we'll be able to get this uh up and running there because that would be really cool to do some flying lessons and we'll try to do it probably over the ocean right there we're also right now in the midst of finishing an upgrade on the barracks tower so that should be coming we're going to get this up to level four so we can really start upping our defenses even more and let me jump back into the car we also have to be careful as we go because you can hit people they will take a little bit of damage there so it's gonna be a little bit easier to get around the colony and we also have to be careful about going up these hills because for some reason it, we can only go, we have to go slow. Otherwise, it, it kind of, I think the car takes a little bit of damage and the engine turns off. So it's a tight turn over here, but just being careful so we don't go flying into the ocean. But yeah, so we did some other upgrading. I'll head on over here as well. We upgraded, we upgraded another house over by our by our town hall area but we also upgraded our first house over here we actually only have one house left the one to the right there that is currently level two all of our houses otherwise have been upgraded to level three it, so we almost have like all level three buildings uh there the other the other thing is we have to get our combat academy up to level three we did do an upgrade to it you know since the last video but yeah, so it looks pretty impressive on the inside, and we do have our our nether miner in training is here, and it looks like they just have a nice little sitting area up there. But our nether miner in training is here, and we also have a second guard that it will use when we hire more more guards. So yeah, I think forward is going to be our next nether miner. His adaptability has been going up, and his strength is pretty good. And I think that Dominic will end up becoming a guard. We're getting his adaptability up slowly, but surely. So, yeah, so we got this upgraded. We'll get this up to level three very shortly. This one's a little bit of an expensive upgrade and build. So let's go around. We still have sheep roaming around from when we moved our farm. But before it gets dark, let's head on over to show what else we did recently on our on our live streams. So we'll head on over down by our mine and head down this way. And I'll also show the fuel aspect of this as well. So this down here at our mine, we did upgrade our mine to level four recently. So looking good here. Yeah, we got a lot more storage and our nether miner has been doing a great job. Hopefully we'll be coming back with a lot more diamonds soon because we need like a lot of diamonds. You can see our nether miner right there. But looking good, so the mine's going well. We're getting a lot of good resources back. We have like unlimited coal now, and a lot of iron came out of there. But we also upgraded our Forester to level 4 as well. So we got this one up and now has like a little bit of an enclosed space over here. But for some reason, no rack, which I'm like surprised by. I'm not sure why uh, there's no rack there. Uh, for this one there's never there's never been like a rack for whatever reason and i think let's quickly let me just park the car right here and let's head on over here and what we're going to do is i'm just going to show off very quickly you know the platform right here so this is the platform where you can build a car and also repair a car so you can see we have like a couple tools in here but this is where we'll bring our car to to be repaired and we also build it here so you kind of add the components into here and then click spawn car but let's head in here and oh what happened here <laughs> i think maddox accidentally filled this in but interesting okay but yeah let me yeah he filled this in we're always working on the combat academy, but yeah, so as I clear this out, we have a little bit of space here. Yeah, and let me also, uh, let's see, I think we have a bed. Let me hop into bed. Hopefully we don't get stuck in the wall. 
good. All right, let me just finish clearing like this out so we could see. So this is quite the elaborate setup that you have to do. And again, like I'm, I'm thinking of doing like a more detailed video to kind of show it off because there's a lot of moving parts with it. But initially, you know, there, these couple blocks that we need. So it essentially, you know, all the canola that we have been generating, and let me take this out. All the canola that we have been generating it will be used here in the oil mill and in the blast furnace we also need to oh out of space in the blast furnace we all we all we need to break down wood which we have a couple hoppers set up right here to constantly feed it in but we still have to set up the to take out the canola cake which is like the byproduct of the canola and also like the charcoal which we need for the methanol, but then it's all mixed together in this cylinder right here. And then it's stored in our fuel tank. So let me head on over to that side. And there's probably going to be dirt in the way here too. But this side, we have a generator over here that provides like a constant energy source. So we have it all connected. So that way there's always going to be fuel pumped into here from the tanks because we have all the pipes set up here so yeah this pipe so that gas pump that we saw all the way up the the hill by our house this is feed it's fed from here so it's pulling from these couple tanks which you could see we have a lot of we have a lot of byproduct there but they're all filled back up which is good because we actually drained it down pretty far when we were testing out the ultimate plane mod but of course like these will power the generator as needed you can see right now it's like stored all the way up so there's always gonna be some fuel coming through we have a tank here it's not connected to the net network like it's, or it's connected to the network but it doesn't have you know pulling out there uh just as like keeping it as like a reserve one but i'm thinking about expanding this out a little bit more to add in a few more tanks just because we go through so much like we go through so much between fueling up the car which like it took a while to fuel that or fuel up the plane i'm sorry and then fuel up the car so yeah so that's th this is a setup for it so i'll probably do an episode in the future where we'll go a little bit more in depth regarding the regarding the the setup for that because it's not the most straightforward and there is a good guide for it if you google it but it it does you know it's still a little tricky uh there to get it set up so yeah let's head back up the other thing i'll just quickly show off the other the last house that we also upgraded over here because we got all our stone ones up okay there we go got to be careful we have to expand our road network a little bit more too but good so right over here you can see we have all of these upgraded to level three as well. So looking good. We we have two extra spaces. We didn't populate them with colonists. We're up to 51 colonists now. So we're, we're growing very quickly. We don't have any extra space in the library right now. So that's why I'm holding off on allowing anyone else to be born or join. And, you know, we'll definitely look to have them join at some point. Like, increase the amount of births here. But as soon as we fill up the other ones and including what we'll do today, so that'll free up a space as well. But today, what we're going to be working on for our, for our build is the composter. And I think it's an appropriate time to do that because we've had a lot of issues with storage in our warehouse. And a lot of those issues span specifically from having too many saplings and too many like too many seeds and all of the like you know any of those byproducts even leaves so it got to the point unfortunately that i'm just gonna park like this hope we don't get ticketed it got to the point that like i've had to take them out of the warehouse and store like a lot of them into the town hall here just because we have so many of these items so i'm hoping that what we could do is we can get the we can we could get the composter to burn through all of these materials and that way it clears up a lot of space but the composting will also go further than that it's not just for getting rid of the saplings and that it's also going to help with our farm because we have had a bit, a bit of a wheat shortage which has resulted in our cow hand not having wheat 
on a consistent basis. So it should help a little bit more with our farming as well. So we're going to head on over to the area where we're going to do the build for today. And we'll get started on the build. So stay tuned and I'll meet you guys over there. I mentioned earlier, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a composters hut. Now, this is a build that I wish that we could have got to a lot sooner for a lot of reasons. The And the reasons I want to do this build now. So the first reason is because we've been having a wheat and carrot shortage. Now, this is partially brought on because we do have the seasons mod installed. You can see right now that it is winter because the water is starting to freeze up right behind us there in the little river. And, you know, that only leaves a few times of year to grow the crop. So again, wheat is more of a summer to fall thing. And I think carrots fall right around there as well. So it's one of those things that, you know, we've had a shortage pretty much for a while. And I uncovered it about a week or so ago. So the compost should help with being able to grow crops faster. Because again, like we do need to have a steady supply of wheat so that not only for the animals but eventually when we do a bakery or whatever else we're going to need grain for but the composter is also going to be great because we're going to be able to build a florist as well because again it's been difficult finding dyes you know we have our auto sheep farm which has been great but we're still going to need dyes for things you know especially we have a lot of demand for red brick extra orange brick extra even some magenta i think it's like magenta and pink or purple, magenta and purple, extra bricks. So we need dye for a variety of things. So the composter is a good, it, you know, the, the florist will need the composter to be able to grow flowers. So again, I, I feel like this is a really good time so that we can tackle the wheat and carrot issue. And then also as we get ready to get a florist so that we can make sure that we're getting the flowers grown and that'll give us access to a more sustainable supply of dye. So the composter's hut requires a level three farm or three level one farms before you can build it. And there is a equivalent research at the university that you, that you, has to be done as well there. So we have done, we, we have a level three farm. And then as I showed earlier, as I showed last week, I believe it was that we did build a second farm to help with the wheat issue. So the composter's hut is where the composter will turn organic materials into compost, which can be used by the farmer or florist to fertilize crops or flowers. They can also create dirt if you have the setting enabled, which the builder can use in buildings. A composter uses compost barrels to make compost or dirt. So we do have one on us. We're actually going to need it for the uh, block there. But, you know, this is a mine colonies thing, the composter there we've had this one for a while i actually took it by one of our other farms there but you know as goes with a lot of the builds the higher the building level the more you know little composting little you know buckets you can have so at a level one we can have one two two three three four four and five five there so we're going to want to get this upgraded and i should have mentioned earlier so the the last reason too i really want to get this in there is because you know we've been having our warehouse has been filling up so quickly and a lot of it is like seed and tree saplings and this is stuff that you know we'll be able to use in the composter so we could start having these items taken out of our warehouse and converted into compost and that way you know it'll help ease the burden of having these things in our warehouse and open up some more space so let me go back into first person mode here and let's go ahead and let's say I'll break down a few more oak planks but let's go ahead and craft the block for it so let's go like this and then we'll put the compost barrel there and the build tool up top and we get our composters hut and i think we're going to start expanding you know some stuff down this way so i already made a marking over here to try to line things up but i saw i want to start making use of our area down here as well because we haven't really built much beyond the beyond the barracks right there so but yeah so again as always there'll be a little bit of flashing just because of the with the way that the texture pack is and that so uh, if you're sensitive it's a good time to look away but let's go ahead and plop this down and let's see i think 
I think we'll maybe go with a stone one. But good, this doesn't appear to be that massive. There, and I'm actually, I, I think I want to leave this little river here. I think we're going to put like a little bridge or something over it. So good. We'll have to take some stuff out here, I think. Is this the front way? I guess let's find out. Nope, the front way's over there, so... Let's spin it around, make sure that we're having it up front, <laughs> all the way back here. There we go. Okay, so here's the front of it. So let's bring this up to here. This is good. And we're going to put this right on the shore here. We'll probably, you know, extend this out a little bit. Because I, I would like to put like a little bridge over it. I think that might be cool to do. And, you know, because we'll have a road coming through here eventually. But, okay. So, this actually looks pretty good. I think that we have our... Yeah, there's our front door through there. And then he's got the different compost buckets there. Okay. So, I think this is uh, good. This seems to be lined up okay. Making sure. Yep. And let me just check the... I think that's the appropriate height. Yep. It was before. Great. So let's go ahead and let's plop this down right here. And really quickly, I'll just fill uh, that back in right there. Let's take a look. So that is right there. So not that much cobblestone wall. Yeah. This, so this should be relatively easy. We'll just have to make a. We'll just have to make a compost barrel, but this shouldn't actually take that long to do. So Maddox will probably have to do some tree. Uh, removal. Maybe we should quickly do some tree removal here to help them out a little bit. And we're going to conquer this by way of a time lapse again, because I think it's really cool to see, uh, you know, how it gets built uh, with it. So I hope you guys enjoy the time lapses. And oh, that's why this is connected over through here. Let's see if we can quickly just separate this out. There we go. Just so that falls out. Okay, good. So that way we can get a better view of it. But great. So we'll have to take down some more trees over here too. But yeah, so what we're going to do is let's conquer this by way of time lapse. And we'll check back in and we'll get this thing up and running.
Okay, so not too difficult of a build pretty quickly uh, there. Just, you know, it took probably more time to clear out the land than it took, that took to actually build it. But yeah, so like a pretty basic, you know, hut here. But yeah, let's take a look at the next level just to see what we would need. So actually not that difficult to do. So we'll have to definitely look to get this upgraded quickly so that we could start getting production up a little bit. Well, let's take a look at the different settings. So produce dirt. I think we're going to leave that off for right now. I'm going to have to, I'll check the warehouse supply of dirt because we've been using a lot of it for terraforming, but I'm not sure if we're at that level yet that we need dirt production. But I know for a fact that we are going to need I, uh, some compost. So let's go ahead and let's see what our options are here. Uh, spruce sapling, we're going to turn that on. We're definitely going to turn on oak sapling. The other one are leaves, which I think we should be able to use those. We'll turn on spruce leaves and we'll turn on oak leaves because it turns out that we had we have a lot of those in the warehouse. And let's turn on seeds wheat seeds so we'll turn those on so those are the different types of compost now unfortunately it doesn't look like we could set a minimum inventory here but i'll actually i'll throw some in there and i actually have oh we'll, we'll turn on grass too we had a lot of grass there so let me let's see if we can use grass we can excellent so i'll use some grass as well so we'll throw these in there and that way you know they should hopefully have a bunch of stuff that they can use right from the beginning. But let's go ahead and let's take a look here for who we're going to place here. And I think Alma might be the one that ends up getting the call for this one. He's got uh, Benicio, I think his name is, has some pretty good skills. But I think in this for this type of HUD, I think we're going to go with Alma. So let's go ahead and hire her. She should come on over here. But yeah. So we're going to start getting some compost production. Again, we just have the one right now. We'll have to look to get this up to level two, but this is going to be great. We're going to be able to get some stuff out of our warehouse and, you know, we'll have to set a minimum stock over at our farm as well to make sure that there's always a compost supply there. So we'll have to, because early on we turned off the compost a request you know for the farmer but we'll have to turn that back on and we'll also have to set in the minimum stock that they have so much compost there as well to ensure because unfortunately like i said there's no minimum stock here and this is one of those type of buildings that they're going to make it like as needed type thing when they get the request from it so from there but yeah i think we're going to leave it here for today guys thank you so much for coming in and checking out the build of the composters hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider dropping a like down below. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm so more people can find our community here. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free, doesn't cost anything at all, and is a huge help for the channel so that more people are able to find us here. And that and we also have a discord if you're not on our discord it's open to everyone you can actually see her doing it in the background there but our discord is open to everyone the invitation link is in the about me part of youtube here so if you do have an interest in hopping over there you know please feel free to do so otherwise we'll be back in a week with another new episode so until then my name is nerd builder thank you so much have a great rest of your day we'll see you soon bye for now